John Bolger with Premier Guitar. Uh, when I'm not doing rig rundowns and reviews and jazz like that, first looks, uh, I also write a column for the magazine, Backpage. And a while ago I wrote about relic guitars. And my argument was that it's kind of silly. And um, there's a lot of people out, you know, kind of relicking their guitars and jacking them up. And I'd, I, my opinion was that it's kind of silly and you might regret doing that. That being said, just my opinion, and I actually, um, I've got a bass that was relic and it's cool and it feels good and I, I get it. And it's just my opinion. But I do like, I do like good honest wear and I think there's something that just feels good about it. And, uh, and for instance, this is my 66 um, Strat. And I got it from the original owner, a uh, buddy of mine in Detroit, and it's the first year of the big headstock. And the reason they did the big headstock is that CBS had just purchased uh, Fender, and they were marketing guys. They thought, how do we get our name out there? Well, we'll make the logo bigger, we'll make the headstock bigger. So this had nothing to do with sound, it was all about just marketing. They wanted a bigger logo and this is like the transitional logo right there um but hendrix kind of leaned towards these because that's what they were making when he was you know when he was playing so it's part of the hendrix thing and this is all just good honest wear and the weird thing is i guess back then they painted every guitar this weird color and then would put you know, if it was a sunburst, they'd put the sunburst over, or if it was white or whatever, they would paint it over this initial color, I'm told. So, anyway, um, this is kind of, you know, this is a guitar that's been around the block, and it just, you know, it's buzzy with, this, with the 60 cycle hum, and it's got its glitches, but it's fabulous, you know, it's just got a thing. Over here, this is a PRS I got brand new. And it's the DG model. And in the early years of the DG, they, they put a nitro finish on it, paper thin, uh, which I think David Grissom had, had requested for his signature. And as you can see, the nitro just uh, ages really quickly. So all these just bumps and, and hits it took along the way. I did a lot of them in my tech uh, Adam, if you're watching, you did some of these too. That's just, that's just, that's just the way it went. But, you know, I love every battle scar. This is a brand new Les Paul and, and uh, it's pristine for now. But, uh, you know, let's get a couple, a uh, couple years under its belt and it's gonna look as rough as the rest of them. Anyway, so um, read the column. Put your requests or put your uh, comments in there. Maybe I'm way off the mark. Maybe I'm right on. Say whatever. I don't care. Just uh, let's have a lively conversation.